to place this uh, silicon ring which was inside we have to take it out we have to place it over this edges inside so that uh, water leakage problem would not be there after that we have to remove the plastic cover of the uh, spun filter and we have to put it inside simply easily and then we have to just just we have to wrap it just rotate it tightly we have uh, given this uh, spanner to give a proper tightening effect so we can tight the this properly we can hold it with the other hand and we can tight the base properly so that water leakage problem will not be there and other thing we have to see that here in is uh, in means the water supply will come in and this out means it will go towards the filter so that the water inlet pipe has to be fitted like this and uh, uh, the supply water supply will come from like this when we will turn the knob on the water should come so this is the direct tap line which we have taken so we can this will go into the this will go into the inlet of the uh, pre filter so now we'll now we will uh, plug this into the inlet we will fit it inside over here just we have to press it then uh, press it properly so that it fits fits properly see that <coughs> it, it will go fit inside properly and this <coughs> same we have to do other side we have to put a new pipe similarly in the out direction we have to firmly insert it properly so that it gets locked inside we will come to know that it, uh, it has been locked inside properly so now this uh, this pipe will go towards our filters inlet there are two mounting brackets given over here so we can uh, drill properly according to the distance and we can uh, measure the distance and make two drills on the wall and two drills will be for this this filter it can uh, it will be better if you keep it on the right side because anyhow this uh, line coming from here we have to put it in it goes into the water inlet option that is in the top it's again a press fit type of setting just we have to press it and it gets locked <coughs> so now the water will come from the tap it will be filtered from this before uh, in this filter and then it will go into the filter and after the all filtration process uh, clean water will be deposited in this lower tank and uh, drain water will require another pipe uh, we'll have uh, we'll have to apply another pipe that will go into our here into the drain I'll show uh, we have supplied you with this uh, tap which will be will be will be applying it over here so first what we have to do is uh, first thing we'll do is take it uh, take this thing we have to do <coughs> we 
will have to put the tap over here <coughs> it is simple just we have to unscrew it and there are two washers given first washer we will remove one washer will be inside <coughs> Washer helps to avoid leakage problems. Uh, just we have to tighten the nut. As you can see, that uh, we have tightened the nut properly. The tap is uh, adjusted properly. Yeah, another piece of pipe will be attached over here. That will go into the this water will go into your wash basin as a drain water. You can cut it uh, as per your requirement. You can also cut this pipe as per your requirement. For demonstration purpose, I am not showing that. And uh, you have to plug it this three pin socket into a uh, uh, three pin power plug. So the most important thing is that you can keep this machine on. Uh, it will sense uh, automatically the water level and it will get on. Uh, and whenever the this is reached maximum level of water is reached, it will shut itself automatically. But whenever you are going outside for a few days or if you are going uh, out of state, out of your place, you can shut this machine off. <coughs> At both the time, you have to shut this uh, power supply also and the water cock also. So that you can means avoid any problems <coughs> in your absence. And after installation, you will have to drain at least the two times the water. You should not start drinking the water immediately. You should drain the water, entire bucket two times so that the entire uh, uh, the racing of all these filters happen. All the chemicals inside that are clean because uh, as the new filters uh, are provide as they are they are disinfected with some chemicals to avoid bacteria infection. So it is better to means drain two times the entire water that has been collected after that you can start drinking water properly thank you for listening thank you very much after everything after everything has been completed uh, please do not forget to uh, screw the base because if you do not screw it uh, sometimes the top may come off so better uh, you should use a screwdriver any screwdriver and make sure that the base is tightened properly <coughs> from the both sides we have to do the same thing from this side also and from other side also whenever you want to clean up the tank you will have to just unscrew this these two screws and just lift the top and you can wash your tank anytime <coughs> it is suggested that you can wash your tank once in a month depends on your usage if your usage is less you will have to wash it wash it more frequently if you are going outside you are keeping the water in tank <coughs> and not consuming it then you will have to wash it more frequently <coughs> other thing is that <coughs> very important uh, you have to you will have to uh, take care that uh, this uh, water in and water out you have to check it out properly that uh, you should not put this uh, water inlet into the water out uh, water out uh, inlet because this is a one way one way uh, pipeline means water cannot go return uh, through the back side so it may cause the pipes to get uh, 
get come out of the of their locks or it may cause damage to the filter also so you'll have to keep it in mind that water coming from the filter the primary filter should go into the water in it should not go into the water out and similarly the drain pipe has to be connected into the water out which will go into your wash basin sink